uh, live on Facebook. So today we're going to do something totally different. I know it's going to be met with skepticism, but we're going to learn the basics of iridology with world-renowned expert, Dr. David Pesek. And we're going to have to fasten your seatbelt because we're going to learn and grow together. So I can't hear the radio, uh, my theme song, but I am hoping that we will be able to, let me go check and see what's going on in uh, the streaming world here. Huh. Let me know if we're on. I can't hear music. Are we on? Let me see. I am live? Okay, so I, I'm on the air? Okay, I can't hear. Yes, I can. I, now I know I'm on the air. Well, hello, my listening friends. It's so nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who've been listening to the show for the last seven years, or you just stumbled upon the show, uh, the show yesterday, welcome back. But if this is your first time stumbling on the show, you're in for a treat because I've been waiting for you and we've got the show for you. Today, we're going to be talking about iridology. Have you ever heard of that? Well, so that you know, this is a safe place where you can go to when you need a friend. It is my commitment to provide alternative ways to heal. And it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening, as well as my viewing friends, we should be on Facebook Live, but I don't see the connection yet, but we'll be working on that as we go along, that that this is a place where what I want you to embrace is a new truth and to live the life of your dreams. And so today, if you have any questions, feel free to call at 407-373-5959. Have you heard of iridology? What is iridology? It's based on a scientific study of the, of the iris, the colored part of the eye, like the markings on a map. The iris reveals physiological as well as psychological conditions or health risks, challenges, and will give you some idea of the strengths of your organs and perhaps maybe even personality traits. So who else to have on the show to talk about iridology other than probably one of the best highly regarded iridologists, holistic iridologist, David Pesek, PhD. He is heralded as a pioneer in iridology. And I have been looking forward to this day because he looked at my eyes and I guess the eyes have it. Dr. Pesek is here to share his, his wisdom and learn a little bit about a new healing. Well, it's been around forever. Healing mm. modality. It's new for it us. Been. Yes. And since it, is our sole purpose, since it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am so grateful that Dr. David Pesek is here to just that. So welcome, Dr. Pesek, to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show. Good morning, and, and thank you for the opportunity to be here and to share this information. It's a passion of mine. Uh, when I got into the science and practice of iridology 35 years ago or so, um, it just caught my soul. And I've been working with it uh, globally now for the past three and a half decades. Wow. And I'm real proud to say that in developing the system of holistic iridology, it, it has spread to practitioners and graduates in 55 countries reaching every continent on the globe. So the only place that I don't have students is in Antarctica. Oh, so I'm planning oh. a class next summer for, with the penguins. So <laughs> I can teach them more iridology. That's funny. Yeah. So the penguins are going to be learning how to look into each other's eyes. Yeah. So, so how look did you get, each other's eyes. how do you go from being a psychologist into the study of the eye. Is that something that um, you stumbled upon yourself or is this something that you always had a passion towards? Well, uh, to just give a thumbnail background of how I got into all of this, I started off at the University of Florida in pre-medicine and was going to go to medical school. And I realized at that young age of 22 that that path wasn't for me on a soul level. 
So I switched over and got a second major, uh, one in pre-med biology and the other in psychology, and then went on to get a couple more degrees in psychology, and then I got back into natural medicine uh, as a naturopath. So I have a background of, of all of that, you know, the hard sciences and the allopathic path and then the naturopathic path and the psychology woven into it. And then uh, about this 30, 35 years ago, uh, someone introduced me to the chart to iridology by Bernard Jensen. And I said, what is that? And they said, well, you can see the health of the body through the eyes and and there's all kinds of organ reflexes and all. And I said, get out of here. You can't see that stuff in the, in the eye. That's amazing. So this person who introduced me, which was one of the therapists on my staff at the time in Deerfield Beach, uh, down in Southeast Florida, uh, she said, this man teaches seminars. And I said, that was, uh, was a soul awakening. I have to go meet this man. And Bernard I'm Jensen. so glad that you did. I'm so glad that you did. And we're going to continue our conversation with Dr. Pesek when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. So many things to juggle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We got you, Dr. Pesek. Technology. Technology can just... <laughs> Be wonderful. It could also be a pain in the yeah, rear. It's the old double-edged sword concept. Oh my gosh! We'll see if it works. Robert, can you keep an eye on Facebook Live uh, to see if we can go on Facebook Live here? Okay, we get ready. I can't hear the music. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn from one another. And today's teacher is Dr. David Pesek. He is a holistic iridologist and so first we're going to find out what iridology is and how we can make it um a part of our everyday study a part of our everyday wisdom so let's talk about iridology in the in the you started talking about how you once you learned about you want to go into a, the medical field uh or you were on the med track yeah. and once you learned this new truth it completely changed your direction. So share a little bit about how that, why that is. Well, I think actually, uh, as I speak about it on a soul level and following my path and being guided into natural healthcare, uh, I've been in practice now, well, I'm retired from the practice, but I'm also a, a professor and now I'm traveling around the world teaching this and natural medicine concepts. And I've been doing that uh, in this field of natural health care for 43 years. So that's almost, I, I started about 100 years ago. And so if you think, <laughs> you I, look I mean, great I, for your age. <laughs> I, you know, I, I drink lots of water, I take my supplements, I try to be a vegan as much as possible, and, and it works. 143, that's, uh, I'm doing pretty good. You look fabulous. <laughs> um, seriously. Uh, what we have to get to is the root causes of illness and disease, as I'm sure that you're very aware of. Yeah. But with the iris and the sclera, the white of the eye, it gives us information about our genetics. And it gives us inf what we were born with from our ancestors, going back generations, patterns, conditions, and then accumulations that we do to ourselves over time through the ways we eat, drink, feel, think, live, love, laugh. All of that plays a role in our health. And today, we know that there's such a thing called epigenetics, yes. and it's not just what we're born with that makes a difference, it's what we do with what we were born with. And the Absolutely. beauty of holistic iridology is that we can get into and take a look at these genetic patterns and then preempt the potential diseases that a, a person could be uh, you know, on a path for. And so it's a, it's a very powerful tool of prevention. You know that in the iris of a newborn, uh, if you could get a close look at it, that baby has, if it has it, would have a, a, a condition in the iris for a predisposition for a heart issue. But their baby, they're, they're three, four, five days old. But at 50 or 60 years of age, the heart condition can manifest, just to give you a thumbnail. And so if we can get to the root causes by looking into the iris, the sclera, the pupil, the conjunctiva, take a look at all of these areas of the external eye, we can see these predispositions and teach people how not to develop the disease that's in their DNA. 
It's, it, it's powerful. It's very interesting. So uh, as, as I've learned about iridologists, I had shared with you when I first met you, Dr. Pesek, that I have asked... I, that iridology was something that was brought to me at the beginning of my journey of learning about holistic health and different modalities that are healing to the body that are not invasive. And so as I started looking to iridology, I wanted to ask different iridologists to come on the show. And I guess it wasn't the right time until I met you. But it, it seems like that many of the iridology uh, people, I don't know, as a, a healthy skeptic as I am, I, I would say that some people shy away from coming forward and saying, you know, the eye is the window to the soul. And, you know, and here is why. You're the only one that has stepped up and said, as a teacher, as a professor, is there, is there a reason why iridology hasn't been embraced more than it has been at this point? I know that there's a lot of iridologists out there, but we as consumers, we as seekers of health, haven't really tapped into iridology. I think probably the best way to answer that is that on a global level, that iridology is used in other countries uh, very effectively. Uh, mm -hmm. In Russia, the people that have permission and license to practice iridology are medical physicians. In Germany, chiropractors and medical physicians have a license in iridology, or it is diagnostic as it's uh, spoken of in Germany. They use it daily in their practice. It's in the United States where it has been oppressed and suppressed for 100 years. And it was used in 1910, 1920, 1930s by physicians, MDs, DOs, DCs, naturopaths. Wow. Uh, all of these different doctors were using iridology. But as the pharmaceutical industry came along, it continued to uh, put pressure on the medical schools and the naturopathic schools not to teach iridology. Wow. So it's, it's just in this country, pretty much. I just got back from Colombia, uh, South America, and I was speaking down there to a medical conference with physicians from 16, 17 Latin American countries that openly embraced my teachings of iridology. So it's really, we look at it, and if you're looking at it this way, in the United States, there is still that issue of, of oppression. But the thing that I have to really let our listening audience know, viewing audience know, is that there are some people that say, I'm an iridologist. And I said, really wonderful. Where did you go to school and where did you get your training? Well, you see my friend, Mary Jane. Mary Jane sells herbs on a multi-level <laughs> company. And I went by her home the other day and I sat around her dining room table and she showed me pictures. And she said, when you see this sign in the eye, sell them this product. And when you see that sign, sell them this product. That is not iridology. Iridology is a clinical science. And there are people out there in this country and other countries that it kind of made it like a, a, a parlor game or something like that. And so if I was an allopathic physician in this country and I came across somebody like that, Mary Jane, who learned a little bit of iridology, which today is from the 1950s and 1960s and 70s it's being taught out there, I would think that iridology was pure quackery. And it's not. It's a clinical science. So it, 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 there's, it depends on who the iridologist is and the kind of education that they have to be able to practice ethically and professionally this very valuable science. So what do, we, what, do we, what do we need to look for? Because we want to make sure that we don't go to Mary Jane. We want to make sure that we go to a certified, someone that's either certified by you, by the, a college. Or how, how do we ourselves protect ourselves from going to the Mary Jane? And God, I am so sorry for using the name Mary Jane. There's a lot of beautiful Mary Janes out there, but let's use, you know, X. Jane Doe. Let's, Jane let's Doe. just say Jane Doe. How, that's pretty Jane generic. Doe. Okay. Jane Doe is pretty good. Okay. Forgive me. I should have said Jane and John Doe for this. Stuff. But, <laughs> okay. Yeah, those people. And, and look, I have the, uh, it's called the International Institute of Iridology. And we have the highest level of iridology education on the planet. Okay. Uh, we've got our courses in universities around the world and, uh, and certifications and credentialings and, and the iridology, holistic iridology is actually uh, credentialed in various curriculums 
uh, in naturopathic studies in universities around the world. So we've got to look at somebody who has that kind of professional education okay. uh, and, and that has a background in, in natural health care and that actually knows the anatomy and physiology of the human body. So well, you, you I mean, know, I, 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 yeah, doctors traditionally look in the eyes. They look at the nose, they look in the eyes, they look into your mouth. You know, I'm thinking, man, if they're looking into the eyes, I wonder if they just took a little study, not a little study, oh. but a, like an extra study, extra that they could just see because you're saying that the eye is like a map. And <clears throat> when you look at a map, you know where certain things are. And so help us understand the basics, the the fundamentals of okay. iridology and what you're looking for. And for those yeah, of you who are going to um, see this later, uh, on YouTube, Dr. Pesic is holding up a uh, image of the eye, the human eye, with a, a, like a map. Go it's ahead. It's an eye chart. Yeah, it's an eye chart, and uh, I'm doing my best to kind of hold it up here and see. Does that look okay? Yeah, it's on okay. But yeah. Well, I know it's going to be a little bit, but what you can see here generally, uh, the R is the right eye, L is left eye. And every gland and organ in the human body has a neurological reflex in the iris. Mm -hmm. On the top part is the brain. Down here is the kidneys. Over here is the lung and heart. Over on this side is the throat. And uh, it's the, the patterns that are in the eye the, of the fibers. So let's, let's go over that again. So the upper part of the eye is? Is the brain. The brain. The, brain the lower part of the eye is, is the genital urinary tract area. Okay, the right part of the on eye. The medial sides, on, the, on the medial sides, like towards your ears, uh -huh. on those sides, are the, is the lung and the lung. breast and heart. And then the inside of the eye, closer to the nose. Is the throat, the vocal cords, larynx, pharynx, trachea, bronchioles, bronchus, and the thyroid, parathyroid. Okay, so in the eye, if you think of it as a globe or a map of the, of the earth, you're looking at the eye and you're finding markings in certain areas of the eye, correct? Yes, the fiber structure, the genetic blueprint of an iris. And maybe I can hold this up just to give our viewing audience, I'll see what I can do here. If it's, I can get close enough. Well, why don't we do that during the break? Why don't we do okay. that during the break? That way our, right. our viewing audience can see us. Our, and then, then our listening audience, I want to bring us along into this. Is there okay, a limitation? So let, me go back. let me go back to that just to cover. So that there's, there are fibers. There's little tiny connective tissue fibers that form the iris. It's not a solid piece. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of little tiny fibers. And when the fibers are close together like this, that's a strong constitution. But when the fibers are loose or what, and there's spaces in between them, that's a weaker genetic constitution. And so wherever those weaker areas are tells me that it could be a weak lung, a weak kidney, a weak liver, and so forth, based on the fiber structure of the iris itself in that specific region in the iris, whether it be liver, spleen, kidney, pancreas, et cetera. Now, I, I read, because uh, for those of you, full disclosure, I, I had my eyes examined. Instead of my brain examined, I had my eyes examined, which revealed so parts of my brain. brain at the same time. That's right. That's right. I, I did that for you. Sure. It, it revealed my brain, my whole entire body. So that, that is a, something that's like a, a quick scan that probably took, I don't know how long it takes for this process for Dr. Pesic. And we are going to talk about this. I'm going to maybe pull out during... Uh, a break. I'm going to pull out my eyes and not, I'm not, that sounded horrible. I'm not going to pull out my eyes. I'm going to pull out the pictures of my eyes. There you go. <laughs> you got to be careful how I. Don't oh, leave your that. eyes in. They're beautiful just where they are. Leave them alone. <laughs> and it's interesting because there were so many things. And I have to, you know, as we look at this, we, we know that this, there are certain limitations into what you can and cannot say about the eyes. And so, I am going to, you know, we're going to go ahead and maybe during the breaks, talk about the, the eyes. Uh, it doesn't look like we're on Facebook Live. It did not connect to Facebook Live, but you'll be able to watch this broadcast on YouTube. You just go to whenyouneedafriend.com and click onto my view, YouTube page, and then you can uh, see this whole uh, video in its entirety on and off the air. And we're going to continue our conversation with Dr. Pesek when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you.
resume. And this is what I'm going to do now. I am going to share my screen, Dr. Pesic, and okay. my eyeball. How about that? That's great. Okay. There we are. And I believe I'm recording, aren't I? Let me see. I hope, does it say, say that I'm recording? <laughs> I hope I'm recording. Okay. Let me see. Pause recording. Okay. So, okay. That's my eye. Can you see it? I can see it okay. very well. It's your left eye with lateral lighting. Okay. Is that a good picture to, to show? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So what would you like to say? We're off the break, but we're still recording. So what would you like to say about my eye? Well, I, I, I'd like to be able to share some of this when we're, we're back on. But, but remember, um, remember, they can't hear you. I, I know. Mean, they well, can't they can't, I know. I understand. So, so but uh, what I would say is looking at your eyes, the color of your eyes is called biliary. Uh, the common term is, is hazel. But the, in iridology, we call it mixed or biliary. And it means that in your genetic background, someone had blue eyes. Mm -hmm. and, you, and someone had brown eyes. And you got a genetic blend of the two colors. Because your iris is not true brown. It yeah. may look brown yeah. uh, just to the naked eye in ambient light. But you see the lighter areas. And you can see the little strands of trabeculas. That's what I was talking about earlier. If you look down about, say, five o'clock. At five o'clock, right here? Yeah, right in there. You see all those little fibers. There's, there's little straight radial lines that come off of the pupil. Uh -huh. Like the pupil is a hub or uh, the, the center of, of, the, of the iris, obviously. And then these little lines, these little connective tissue strands come off of that in a radial fashion. And mm -hmm. those are the trabecula. Your constitution genetically is good. You're not the bionic woman, and <laughs> you're not a raggedy Ann doll either. You've, you've got a, a good constitution okay. uh, genetically, which means that you have the ability to heal. Uh, I, I would say that uh, you have a lot of stamina, but one of the things that I would also say is that you, you have a tendency to push. And, and even when you say, well, the spirit is willing and the flesh is tired, that you, you continue to push on. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me, um, um, Steve, I'm going to make sure that we still have time because I can't see the messages from you. So let me stop the share real quick. And how much time do we have left of this break? Steve? <laughs> oh, we're on? Oh, well, you know, I, I'm having some difficult def difficulties because, uh, technical difficulties, because I cannot hear the music. So I have no idea. I'm not getting the cues that I need to know if I'm on the air or not. But just know that you are listening to the Lillian McDermott radio show where we always learn from one another. Today's teacher is Dr. David Pesic. He is a holistic iridologist and so we're learning about iridology today we are learning and growing together and so that you know iridology is the study of the eye and the eyes are you know they say the eyes are the window to the soul but claro, los ojos son las ventanas del alma. that's right and we are yes. saying it in english and in spanish and hey. so this is a multicultural show that we're going to be talking about. These are, this is a modality that is embraced all over the world. But Indeed. in the United States, all over it the is world. not. That's right. And so just know that when, this is a place where we take ownership of our life. It doesn't matter if the United States uh, approves it or not or ex embraces it in a way that we would like to embrace it. We need to make these choices for ourselves. I want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com and become a subscriber. When you become a subscriber, you will get the show sent to you. Now, while you're there, make sure that you click onto the uh, icons that will give you access to my social media. Subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. Today, we're not on Facebook Live, unfortunately, but I don't know what, what's going on. However, you can watch this on Facebook and YouTube later on. And so if you wanna become a subscriber at YouTube, when you subscribe, the show gets sent to you. 
um, so that you can watch this over and over again. Very powerful information that we share. So many different ways to be connected. You know, and this may not make any sense to you right now, but that's okay. My goal is not to convince you. My goal is to inform you. And then you will make an informed choice whether to accept or reject. This is something that I am curious about and I'm skeptical about in many ways because this is something that we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned from birth to go to the doctor, go to the doctor and trust the doctor. But I've had doctor after doctor after doctor come on my show and say, you know what? We try the best we can, but we don't know everything. We don't have all the tools. And listen, when you have a hammer in your toolbox, everything is a nail. And so I am exposing all of us to different modalities that can heal our body. Iridology is one of those. So if you have any questions for Dr. Pesek, feel free to call at 407 373 five nine five nine and you can ask your questions but for now what i'm going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about my my results because dr pesek thank you so much for sharing and i know it's difficult to share about the eye on the air but we are during the breaks going into uh, showing up my big old eye so that uh the pictures that were taken now one of the things that you do in your questionnaires you ask about certain conditions certain things in the body when you are asking about this, are you looking specifically for that in the eye? What are the limitations of iridology? What can you say? Can you diagnose with the eye? Can you not diagnose? Are these suggestions? What? Well, I would say that uh, in the intake form, on the intake form, the main thing that I'm looking for is if you've had any surgical procedures. Mm -hmm. So if a person has had their tonsils out, gallbladder, appendix, uterus, ovaries, and so on, the iris does not reflect the removal of that tissue because it was done under anesthesia. So that I need to know if those surgical procedures have been performed. So uh, say that again. Believe, so you don't see it in the eyes or it's not still there? It's been removed. I can see the genetic predisposition of the appendix and the gallbladder and the ovaries and the uterus and so on, but you cannot tell if it's been surgically removed by it. So then I, that's my question is to what, what have you had surgically done okay. uh, in, regarding organs and, and part, body parts being removed, so to speak. But the, one of the important things that we need to do here in the United States uh, legally is to say that we do not I repeat, we do not diagnose medical disease conditions by using iridology. We don't have to. Okay. Because I look at it from a thought and emotional perspective. That's why it's holistic iridology. Mm -hmm. It's not just a buzzword. Remember, I said I've been in this for 43 years. Yeah. And holistic, to me, means spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. And I see people out there practicing uh, as a chiropractor saying, I'm a holistic chiropractor. And I said, wonderful doctor, what is it that you do? Well, I adjust, I do muscle testing, and I recommend supplements. I said, that's physical. What do you do for your patient emotionally? Mm -hmm. What do you do for your patient's thoughts? Oh no, I just give supplements. I said, then you are not a holistic practitioner. Yeah. Holistic is spiritual, Mind, mental, body, spirit. emotional, and physical. That's right. And I hear that. It's the, the, the word is dear to my heart because I've been teaching it and preaching it for 43 years. And, and when I see people misusing it for marketing purposes, it really bothers me. But holistic iridology truly is spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical in the ways of looking at our total being through our eyes and it really validates that old expression as we've already said the eyes are the windows of the soul it truly is we can see thought and emotional patterns from our ancestors they go back generations yes and, and i was reflected in the brain area i was seeing that in my results i was seeing that you know as i was looking you know it's amazing as I was looking at my results in my the report that you gave me, which is a long, long report. 140 checkpoints of your health. Yes, 140 checkpoints of my health. 
And some of the areas that I, I had like a higher number, you know, there were many things that you, you go through this legend or this um, glossary terms. And, and I, I looked at them. And, but then when I started looking at my report, I kind of got lost in the, the verbiage. And, and so I thought, oh, I'm so looking forward to seeing you, Dr. Pesek, because, you know, if hyper is one thing and hypo is another, how can I be hyper, hyper and hypo? How, how does that happen? How, how do you see that? In, in the brain area, that's where we see that in the brain area, because remember, these are thoughts. These are thoughts and emotions that are in the brain area genetically. And so a hyper is the drive, it's the compulsion. I must, I have to, I'm going to. And the hypo is, I'm not sure that I can. I, I don't know, I don't know how, is an example survival. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this, but I must, I've got the will, I'm gonna survive no matter what, I'm gonna overcome all odds. But what if I don't? What if I can't? I don't know how, I'm not sure. That's the yin and yang. That's the hypo and hyper of, of what I read in the brain area in the iris. And that's a subconscious pattern. It's a subconscious pattern. Is it sub so can it be rewritten? People don't know that they even have it. Yes, Dr. Pesset, can it be rewritten? Because I, I would say that when you're looking into my eyes, you're seeing a lot of my past. Exactly. But how, are you seeing my current situation? Are you seeing the work that I've done to overcome my past? Yes, and in the scope of this interview in the short amount of time that we have, which is really longer than most opportunities yeah. that I get, so <laughs> I'm very grateful uh, to have this time with you, but... But yes, you can see, but I look at the whole iris, and, or let's say that the, the external ocular structure, which means everything you can see with the naked eye of the human eye. The white is the sclera, and then the, the, the mucus layer is called conjunctiva, mm -hmm. and the cornea, and the pupil, and the iris, mm -hmm. all gives me information about you, about what you were born with, where you are now, and what your potential is for the future of what could happen to you. And so it is the past, the present, and the future. That's where the expertise and the training has to come in over that that Jane Doe, Jane Doe has learned uh, just by you know, sitting around a, a dining room table and looking at pictures. It, this is a real science and it's 3,000 years old. It is amazing. It's amazing science. And it's amazing how much we can learn about ourselves. And it's so funny because I was, I was looking at your report. I was looking at how you were doing this. And, um, and so as I was looking, I'm like, yes, I recognize that as the old me. And Good. the work that I've done on myself, I, I am thinking maybe I need to work even more on the spiritual and maybe more on the emotional aspect of my self-esteem or the different things of caring too much what other people say and caring too much, you know, because I, I say here all the time, it's none of my business what people think of me, but still there's a part of me that really truly cares because, you know, we, we're, we are born with certain characteristics that come from our family traits and all of that. And so this is what we're, we're going to continue to talk about this off the air. I'm going to blow up my eye there so that I can show it and we can talk a little bit more about. If you notice, if you notice there, Lillian, you got a B, hypo, hyper and self-esteem in your right eye. I know, I know. And that's what you and, were just talking about. That's right. And that's why I, I read the report from top to bottom. And we're going to continue our conversation with Dr. Pesek when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. Okay. So hold on a second. I, I need to... Um, yeah, whatever. Hold my recording. And we'll, we'll do this after. I... Um, Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today's teacher is Dr. David Pesek. After the show, we're going to go through a little bit more of the 
the components of my results of my report and i just want to make sure that you know that you can find it at when you need a friend.com uh, later on you might be able to find it on facebook at lillian's radio show and also um we'll we'll do just a segment on that so that means if you don't are not interested in it then you don't have to be a part of it. So um, Dr. Pesek, I'm very grateful to you for taking the time and explaining iridology because this is something that is not accessible to many of us. I just happened to stumble upon it. And so looking into my eyes, we talked a little bit about the emotional component and who I was and who I am today. Um, there, there was a, and, and I'll even say this, when I married my husband 25 years ago, the kids did a, a little, uh, 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 like a, for our anniversary when we were married 20 years um they did a like a dinner and and uh, we sh we watched the video together of when we got married and i said to my husband on the way back i don't recognize the woman who was standing next to you anymore i i felt so different and so disconnected i i remembered that person and who i am today is not who i was then and so when i was looking at the report it was almost as i was looking at my past and therefore maybe saying do i need to work some more in in what i'm wa reading about me but some of the key things that i wanted to discuss right now is you know some of the sevens and some of the numbers that i was seeing about my digestion and my uh, gallbladder and things like that would you be able to talk a little bit more of globally what you were able to see any concerns or anything that you would like to note from the report well one of the things that i'd like to share with you and and your perception when you're reading those 30 pages and those 140 <laughs> checkpoints yes. is that what really enhances the the depth and breadth of an iris, a holistic iris analysis mm -hmm. is to actually have a consultation yes. so that I, I can't put into 30 pages all that I see. Mm -hmm. I can put down the numbers, hypo, hyper, yes, no, one through 10, zero through four, all the grading scales and give you that general information and then the 25 plus pages of basic guidelines. But to be able to sit with someone and have them look at their eyes on the screen is absolutely profound. It's like when you first looked at your irises when you got your, your emailed report, it had to be an amazing experience because you're looking at your soul yes. when you're looking at your eyes like that. Yes. And so when you're born with a condition in an area that's a seven, which is a little on the weaker side, you may have already, like you were saying, worked on that area and you've begun to heal it and put more energy into that aspect. So consequently, that's where when we have an opportunity to talk about it, to have a consultation, we dialogue about all of these things. And when we're born with these predispositions, it does, it's not a sentence. It's not a sentence. If we're born with something that, that is, is in our iris, it doesn't mean we have to have that condition. So if, a mother has had ovarian cancer, the daughter does not have to have ovarian cancer. Correct, correct. Unfortunately, a lot of, of the allopathic physicians say, well, that runs in the family, and if your grandma had it, your mother had it, you're going to have it too, and that's just the way it is, so we probably should do surgery now to preempt the fact that you might have this ovarian cancer down the road. We don't have to have those things happen. And when I get a chance to talk with you, then we would dialogue about, just like in the right iris in the brain area under self-esteem. Mm -hmm. I really, really want to be liked. I want people to really appreciate my show and the knowledge. Of, sure. Gosh, I hope they like this show. I hope they like me when the show and the information. <laughs> they really Have the you been following me? Getting it? Are they really getting it? Oh, God, I sure hope so. I want it to be so good. I'm not sure that they really are. Oh, there goes that little self-esteem gremlin in there munching yeah. away. Yeah, but then there's this other side that understands that I was the skeptic. I was the one that was closed. I was the one who I, cr I was cracked open. And I was, once I was cracked open and I was open to other things in my life, I was saying, okay, then it's none of my business what people think of me. When do you see that? When do you see that in the eye? 
when you talk to the individual and you say, okay, have they really resolved this issue? Absolutely. That's okay. where it comes in is when you talk to that individual. Also, the sclera, the white of the eye, okay. is more dynamic to change with the blood vessels. And we didn't even have a chance to even touch on the blood vessels in the sclera. Yeah. But that gives me more of a, a window into what's happening with you right now, rather than what were you born with? What have you worked on? Where are you at now? So the sclera adds to this information. Um, something else I'd like to, to make a point yes. of, because I know our time is, yes. is getting short, is that holistic iridology is something that I've created. And mm -hmm. I'm a messenger. I, I, you know, I've worked hard at this. This is my passion uh, to teach this kind of information, but it's no one else is teaching holistic iridology other than sanctioned instructors and professors through the International Institute of Iridology, which is my organization uh, for education. So it's not somebody else if they're talking thought and emotion. It's this is as a psychologist with three degrees in psychology, yeah. let alone the naturopathic studies. This is where this has evolved from as a psychotherapist and working with people in the trenches with their blood and guts emotions and reading those patterns in the iris and then putting it into a system called holistic iridology. Well, you know, I, I, I wanted to just add to what you're just saying that um, when I was looking at my eyes and I was looking at the map of the eyes and how you are able to find it, that is the key to that unlocks what you're seeing. However, you have a PhD. You're a psychologist. Most iridologists who are learning from you, are they also PhD psychologists? No, I have psychiatrists and psychologists and all that are also students. But you don't have to be because okay. I'll teach it to you. That's, the, that's the, the beauty of this science and how I've created these courses where someone can actually earn a diploma in holistic iridology where they know how to ask the questions and they do not have to be a psychologist or psychiatrist to do that. How long does your course take, Dr. Otherwise, I wouldn't be of, of service. I yes. have to get this information out to as many people as possible sure. on a global level. Sure. Well, this is, this is something that we're going to work on after the show. We're going to go through my report. I will report on that. Um, anything, because we're getting to the end of the show, and we, we had some technical difficulties, so we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do, but we're going to make up for it after the show here. Is there anything that you would like to share that you want us to become informed about? What I would say... Dodging? Yeah, I would say that if you would go to Holistic Iridology, and that's with an H, H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, I-R-I-D-O-L-O-G-Y, HolisticIridology.com, mm -hmm. there's a wealth of information there. There's articles you can download, there's photographs, there's, uh, I mean, there's, it, there's pictures of all kinds, there's courses and there's equipment, everything that you could possibly have a question about or an interest in relative to iridology is at that website, holisticiridology.com. Holistic. And you'll get all the information and, or you can call me and, and I'll be happy to talk to you if you'd like to study this. And I'll have you his information. I tell people when I was lecturing down in, in Columbia, I said, doctors, learn level one just for you and your family. Even if you're not going to do iridology professionally, learn level one for you and your family. That's wonderful. How long is your course, Dr. Pesek? It's, uh, it's about 200 hours, but it's broken up into videos, and it's also in, completely in Spanish. Todo oh, en español. Todo en español. Libros, mapas, cartas, everything. Videos, wonderful. Wonderful. Todo en español. Thank you so much, Dr. Pesek. We just dipped our toe in iridology today. Yes. And we're going to continue our conversation off the air where we're going to really get saturated in it a little bit. So you can watch that video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Dr. Pesek, for coming on the air with me. And I just want to encourage you, my listening friends, that if this doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. But be curious about it. See if this is something that could help in the future. Please remember, I'll be right here waiting for you worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. Okay, yes. so wonderful. So we have, we are, we are done with the 
radio show portion of it. And so, um, so I just, I'm going to stop this video because what I want to do is I want to start another video, which we talk about my report. I want to keep it separate because some people may not even care to watch. Right. So I'm going to keep it separate and okay. I'll be able to share some of the, the visuals once we get it all set up. So we need to hang on here. Uh, thank you, Steve, for your, for your work today. I appreciate it. And for those of you who are watching, please give me the thumbs up, like the video, share the video so that we can help us grow the show. So to be continued, as they say on the radio. So thank you, Dr. Pesek. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video now and we're going to start a new one.